Now it's off to sea for deer and bulls On a great big boat our hero goes With a host of troopers as a escort He's off to the Maple Leaf Fort Tress In route to that mighty place Ambrose Center and his troopers face The terror of the mighty sea In a full-blown hurricane Their vessels sank into the sea But they all swam away safely And found dry land when a lucky break Till Ambrose got bit by a snake But don't worry, he was fine the people living in that land extended them a helping hand, loaned them a boat, and they sailed again away to the journeys. And whoa! And when he arrived here in the Maple Leaf Fortress, they handcuffed him, and they forbade him to leave the town. And now he stays here but his advice goes all over the world. How does he do that? Any way that he can. Take this to our friends in North to Kansas. Sir, this is from your little buddy Timmy in SFF. Apparently the light beards there still won't take him seriously. Why? Same as always. He's too young. young. Yeah, I got it. I'll take care of it, thanks. Sparky, this one's headed your way. I hope you're ready to travel. Now, what to say to Timmy? Hmm. Don't let anyone look down on you for being young. I know that it wasn't your idea for them not to take you seriously, but I mean, don't ever give them a reason to look down on you. If you're the one that's setting an example of how you talk, how you live, how you love, and believe and treat people, they won't have any opportunity to look down on you. Don't worry, Skip. It's just my icon. Yo, Keith! Hey, good to hear from you. Hey, we still have some time before that thing, right? What? No, absolutely not. I'm telling you, Keith, there's just no replacement. But I can it. still be good and not go every week, right? Well, then you'd be the first person in history. But I read the books and I listen to only light beard music and I go to Mountaintop every year. And on top of that, I'd have these chats with you, Ambrose. But it can't be about me, Keith. Uh, look, all those things are good things, but they're all just a watered down version of connecting with him. Huh? Him. Oh. Look, when Sun Sun went back to the sky, he didn't tell us to visit Mountaintop once a year. He told us to gather together to remember him. Okay, fine, I'll, I'll go once a week. Happy? Come on, brother. It's not enough to just show up. Meeting together every Sunday isn't just for warping. It's because our job here is to spread the word about him. Meeting together regularly is our best way to talk strategy, to encourage one another to keep up the fight and to, to get stronger for our work ahead. I understand. You're right. Oh, and if you're having trouble, uh, you know, telling people about him, I could teach you a song that could really help you with the... Uh, Keith? Hello? Friends, no matter how difficult things can get, and they will get difficult, Remember who you're representing. Don't carry that lightly. I'm a prisoner, and I'm fine with that because I'm a prisoner for father's son. But you don't have chains, so don't let anything stop you from being humble and patient, gentle and unified. The one we live for is father, son, and syrup, but he is one. So when we follow him, even though we're many, we need to become one. My friend here is saying my time is up. I love you all.
Ready, boss. Sir, John Marco is on the cone. Oh, sweet, thanks. Is this cool? John Marco, good to hear from you. Hey, how's it going, boss? Oh, I I'm fine. Hey, as long as I got you on the phone, I want you to make sure you find a mentor down in Buckshot County, okay? Why do I need another teacher? I already have you. I'm on the other side of the world. You might not always be able to reach me. Chances are, anywhere you go in this life, you're gonna find someone who's been following father son longer than you. And who knows more about son son than you do. Don't go passing over gold mines, kid. Hey, uh, I gotta go do this thing, but you take care, okay? Yeah. Yeah, you too. Thanks, Ambrose. Jacks and lumberjills gather all around and thrill to the mystery I bring to set you free. You see, the one we sat and waited on, begotten one of father's son, died and yet survived, and now his work is done. See, in the middle of your little heart, it's dark and cold, and it'll chill and kill. It really will bode quite ill. But he was born and came and died, and he bore his flame and light and heat, so let his name inside, and you will be set free. Oh, that's the mystery.